Hey everyone, this is Brian from Provision Studios, and today I'm making a quick video on how to set up IP streaming on a Canon XF400 camcorder. And the way that you do this is you uh, will need a uh, obviously a Canon XF400 camera. You will also need a um, a router. This could be, it doesn't need to have internet connect connectivity. Basically what you're doing is you're just running um, your, uh, your, your Cat5, Cat6 cable from the, uh, the ethernet port on the XF400 into the router. And then um, uh, finally you will need a computer, whether it be a laptop or a desktop computer that has an ethernet port that you can connect it also to the router. So um, once you are able to do that, get that connection set up, then with these settings I'm about to show you, you will be able to stream your video signal right from your uh, Canon XF400 camera to your computer that can then be distributed uh, to um, for um, church services or live band events, um, even if you want to do like a stream to YouTube, whatever it is, you'll be able to do it directly from this camera using these settings. So um, the first thing we're going to do on the camera is we're going to go into the menu setting and we are going to go over to the, 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 the third or the fifth uh, tab from the top, which is the system setup, and we're going to scroll down to network settings and click there. And the first thing we're going to want to do is go to connection settings. So on the connection settings, what you'll have is you're going to have four separate profiles you can have set up on this camera for different ways to connect. Um, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to use the Ethernet connection out of the Ethernet port on the XF400 to again stream your camera signal to a router that is then picked up by a computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to select uh, um, one of our four profiles and we're going to scroll over to the, um, the, 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 the settings on the right hand corner here and we're going to click on it. And that's going to allow us to come into this setup menu. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to go click edit. And now what we want to do next is we want to select the network connection to be Ethernet. And that's going to allow this setting to be uh, utilizing the Ethernet port on the camera. So once you select that, next it's going to ask you for the IP address assignment method. We're going to select manual. Once you do that, then you're going to have these settings here that you will select the uh, the boxes on the right hand side to allow you to, to edit those settings. So first thing we want to do is we want to assign the IP address for this camera. So what you would need to do is go on your router and find out what your um, your IP address is there and then take that formulation and create a custom IP address for your camera. So in the case of my router that I'm using, my IP address for that router is 192.168.1.1. So I'm going to name my camera 192.168.1.80. And I can be whatever number you want there at the end, as long as it's not one, because then that will cause a conflict. So once you go over and get your, 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 your thing all set up, the final character, character is going to be what you're going to set, the, is, is what's going to identify this camera. Once you've got that, you're going to click OK. Then you're going to go down to your subnet mask. Here, you're going to set this to be whatever it is uh, that your router has. In most cases, it's going to be 255.255.255.0. Once you've got that entered, you will once again hit OK, and then you're going to scroll down, and we're going to select our default gateway. The default gateway 
is the IP address of your router. So you'll go to your router settings, find out what your IP address is, and you'll enter that here. Again, in my case, the, the IP address or the default gateway of my router is 192.168.1.1. Once you've got all that selected, we are going to click OK again. Now, that's all we're going to do here on the connection settings as the primary DNS server and the secondary D DNS server, they really don't give us any functionality for this, for what we're doing here. You'll click OK. When we click OK, it's going to give us an opportunity to name this connection. Um, I'm naming this Ethernet, so that lets me know that this is the connection I use to run out my Ethernet on the camera. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. You can name it the camera, Canon XF. 400, you can name it, let's say this is camera 1 or camera A in your, in your multi-camera setup, you can name it that as well. A, either way, I'm using Ethernet, Ethernet, and I'm going to click OK. Next, it's going to ask me if I want to save this network configuration. I would like to do that, and it's letting me know that the network configuration has been saved. So we'll click a final OK, and now we are back out in the system setup. We're not done yet. Now, the next thing is we're going to want to click on network settings again, and we're going to want to go down to IP streaming settings. Inside of here, we have a couple options we're going to want to select. First, we want to select our output signal. So on this camera, the XF400, you can choose between 1080p, 60i, at 9 megabits per second and 1080p 60i at 4 megabits per second 4 megabits per second you will have to determine which signal works best for your workflow once you've got it selected you just click back and we're going to go down to our next setting is going to be our audio output so for that we have two choices we can choose ch uh, stereo channels 1 and 2 where channel 1 is left and channel 2 is right, or we can select channels 3 and 4, where channel 3 is left and channel 4 is right. So select what you want to have there. And then this is the uh, important part of this screen. Well, it's not, a, it's not that the other two aren't important, but this is where we are going to cr create our capture. Um, the destination IP address is going to be the IP address of the computer that you're streaming from or the device that you want to capture the feed from your XF400 camera. So you just would select that and you would enter that information here. In my case, the IP address that is assigned to my computer from my router is 192.168.1.3. You'll enter all that and then hit OK when you're done. We'll scroll down our destination port number is going to be 5000 and then the protocol is going to be either UDP, RDP or RT, RDP plus FEC. I'm not going to go into these too much, there's plenty of information online as to what these mean, um, but basically you're going to select the protocol that works best for your workflow. These are, these are different, they perform differently, um, the UDP basically will, um, whether there's glitches or not in your in your signal, this is going to just send that stream with all the, any imperfections that it has. The RTP will send multiple packets that will allow for your signal to come through cleaner. Now, based on your router and your in your signal, you may have to select one or the other depending on what works best for your gear. So again experiment to see which gives you the signal that you need to use in your situation. When you're done there, you'll click back. We can scroll down and see that there's really nothing else that we can select. So once we've got all that done, we can select the back arrow. And if you want, you can go to view information. Oops, sorry. You can click view information. And then this is basically going to be a rundown of everything you've just done. So you can see your connection settings. You got your uh, name of your network, the connection type, um, we can go to our IP settings next, that's going to show us our IP address, our subnet mask, 
uh, our default gateway. You can see the DNS servers we did not name, so they are not configured. The camera's MAC address, and so on and so forth. Then the browser settings. You can see the um, the uh, the camera's name, the port number for the camera, and then finally the IP streaming settings that we just set. You can see we're going to set a 1080p, 60i, 9 megabit per, per, per second feed out with audio channels 1 and 2 to the des destination IP address of 192.168.1.3. So, and everything else here that we, that we selected. So this is a good way to go uh, to just review everything you've done. When you're done, you select back. And then we're going to scroll up to the activate button. And we are going to select IP streaming. And when you do that, basically you're going to get this window that tells you when you are IP streaming that there is no way to do an internal record on this camera. So and it's asking you if you want to start streaming based on you not being able to record. So you hit yes. And then now we're going to uh, get out of our menu. And you're going to see the computer icon and the camera icon. Once they both turn white, that means that the connection has been established with your computer to your router and you are ready to start picking up your feed from your um, from your camera onto your computer okay if you guys have any questions at all about what I've showed here today don't please don't hesitate to reach out you can leave a question or a comment in the section below or you could always uh, feel free to email me at bbuck822 at gmail.com. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if you guys uh, want to see any other content like this that breaks this camera down and some of its uh, next level functionality, I'd be more than happy to make additional videos in that regard. So um, until the next video, I hope you guys uh, have a great, uh, great time working with your camera and, and shoot some great footage. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye now.